Hello again and welcome to another video. In this video I just want to go through some repositioning examples, some that have been good and some that have not been good and I'll have links below uh, to more information about each of these but I'll just give you a quick summary. So first one, Old Spice. Now Old Spice is a, a men's cologne or an aftershave and you can tell by the name Old, it was a fairly traditional type uh, product and it attracted an older target audience. So to broaden the audience, what they did is a series of fun, modern videos that went viral and they refreshed the brand with a youthful, athletic, uh, humorous type advertising. So this is very much an um, integrated marketing communications, a promotional based repositioning and it did very, very well and increased sales dramatically. Apple. Now you guys know Apple as uh, one of the largest companies in the world. But if we go back in time, they were primarily a computer company. And around the early 2000s, when Steve Jobs came back to Apple, they were struggling. Uh, they were not doing particularly well. They had a fairly limited market share. They were relying on, on computers only. But they were able to reposition by bringing out new products and stores. So initially it was the iPod, that, which has now disappeared. Then the iPhone in 2007. A couple of years later, the iPad. And obviously the Apple stores came out in that area as well. So through product and place, they dramatically changed from a, a uh, niche computer company that, that was not as I said, was not the, the Apple you know today. It was a very different Apple uh, in the early 2000s and reinvigorated and repositioned the brand to now being obviously uh, you know, a leader in, in phones and, and computing um, and associated devices. So a product-based approach. Netflix, obviously a, a major streaming platform, a huge company. Initially, they were a mail order company. You would, you would hire your what was called DVDs, the old way of watching movies, and they would mail them to the, you. You would play them and mail them back. Uh, the advantage was you didn't have to go to a store. The old days you had to turn up to a physical store, pick up a tape or a disc and take it home and plug it in and watch the movie and then take it back the next day. So it was a, a lot of work. Netflix initially had um, uh, a, a, a convenience of mail, but now obviously they became a, an online streaming platform. So they've gone from the mail to streaming. So they've changed the product and they've changed the process. Okay, you could also throw in YouTube in, in that sort of example because YouTube started off as a, uh, a dating video company. So initially when they started, they were trying to get people connected and, and form relationships but soon repositioned into upload any video and share it. Domino's, if we go back um, around 2010-ish, they were getting a lot of bad press in America because their pizzas were considered low quality. Um, one of the famous sayings was their pizza tastes like cardboard. Um, you know, people are better off eating the box, perhaps. So they had to reposition by changing their, their product. They reinvented the product, they reinvented their pizzas completely, they walked away from what they used to do. So revised product and they did a series of videos where they just said, hey, yeah, this is what people are saying, the, the pizza is bad, it's low quality, nobody wants to eat it. They showed shots from focus groups, so they were very open and authentic. And then they showed part of the, the re, redesign process and then the relaunch. So that did particularly well. We've got Dove, the beauty company, and they've gone from just you know, a range of cosmetics and associated products to moving into the image of real beauty, where they're showing a, a, a much greater diversity of, of people. Um, in the old days, they used to show, showed attractive models type thing, but now they show real everyday people and they're emphasizing the importance of uh, again being authentic and being real and, and, and everybody's beautiful. So this is a 
a promotional change, integrated marketing communications. McDonald's, if we go back in time, McDonald's was just burgers and fries, and now we know them for uh, a whole range of menu items, uh, including coffee, they've got lots of nice um, stores, etc. So they made a dramatic change to their, their product range and have expanded it out and they've obviously improved some of their stores and, and uh, the, the comforts and the sitting inside. Some of them have special coffee areas and they've worked hard on what's the physical evidence side. So it, it just presents a lot better and it's a lot better atmosphere if, compared to the traditional fast food approach. And this is a product category rather than a, a, a company, vinegar. Vinegar is a, uh, you know, a liquid you put on your food or a flavoring, if, if you like. But obviously that's been redesigned now for a cleaning product. And sales of, of vinegar have, have increased enormously uh, because the old days you used to sprinkle a little bit on and now you're using uh, big bottles of it to, to clean around the house. So, they were able to reposition by aligning the product to a new purpose, okay, providing a new benefit. So they're the ones, some examples of great repositioning, successful repositioning. Let's go through some that weren't as good. Uh, so New Coke, this is the mid 80s. This is uh, an older one, but it's a, a, a classic marketing example. Uh, 100 years of Coca-Cola, they de decided to redesign their formula and come out with a, a new variation of Coke. The old, old one disappeared off the market for a few months and this was not well received. People did not want a change in Coke. They, had their, they grew up with it, it had been part of their lives and they wanted it maintained. So taking that away w w did not go well. Eventually Coke, after a few months, given the, the backlash, they had to reintroduce the product and they actually ran both products and the, the new Coke eventually disappeared. Tropicana, I think this is around 2009, this is a, a juice company, a brand owned by PepsiCo and they decided to take a marketing li market leader juice product that was sort of for the whole family and trying to reposition it primarily through packaging into uh, an, a premium adult system.